nearly 19 years, the U.S. has been fighting a shadowy jihadist threat in a war that never seems to end. But proposed to rethink the global war on terrorism, and defenders of this policy prophesy doom. The terrorist numbers have never been greater, that any departure from the way the war has been fought will unleash a new wave of attacks, that they'll strike again. Well, the Quincy Institute's latest report challenges this misguided notion. Here's the harsh truth. Our overseas military commitments are way out of proportion to any damage that terrorists can inflict on Americans. In the Middle East, many of these troops are there to counter Iran, not to fight terrorists who are planning attacks against the U.S. In some situations, the use of force has actually jeopardized our attempts to counter radicalization. American policymakers have chosen to respond to terrorist threats overseas because it's easier than confronting the underlying conditions that actually feed insecurity, like poverty and corruption, bad governance, authoritarianism, foreign interventions, and occupation. Do you want to know what's actually stopped another 9-11 style attack from happening on American soil? Investments in intelligence gathering, international cooperation, dogged police work, and the recognition that vigilance can safeguard us, even as we admit that the security threat can never be brought to zero. Well, the Quincy Institute has a few ideas for how to unwind the war on terror. Congress should repeal the 2002 authorization place the 2001 authorization with a more narrowly tailored law and pass a reformed War Powers Act. Instead of controlling territory, U.S. forces should be offshore, where our presence is less likely to foment unrest. Targeted killings should only be used to preempt an imminent strike against the U.S. or American civilians. And we need to account for the risks of our potential complicity in human rights violations by the governments we partner with. Bottom line, the war on terrorism hasn't stopped terrorism. It may have even fueled it in an effort to stop attacks against the United States. We need to end the war on terror and focus on what can actually make us safer.